I made the call. Well, and as you can see, it's a beautiful day in Indiana. But it's funny. No matter how good the weather is around here, somebody always wants to complain about it. I, it, may, it makes no difference to me. See, I lived in Minnesota. I'm, I'm used to harsh weather. But now it's finally spring. You know, the sun's finally coming out. The grass is starting to poke through the earth. And, and we're starting to get some really nice weather to walk around in outside. But sooner or later, somebody will find a reason to kind of dog it and make it sound like it's awful and everything. And in a few months, when summer comes around, somebody's going to complain about how hot it is. Uh, I lived in Minnesota, and, and really, they only had two seasons. And they were called shovel and swat. I got used to it. So this, if it rained tomorrow, and if it sleeted tomorrow, or even snowed tomorrow, it really wouldn't bother me too much. But see, the funny thing is, is instead of doing something about it, people just continue to complain. And I offer a suggestion. Yes. Instead of complaining about the weather, you can get out of it and get in the court and learn how to play racquetball. It might be a new experience for you. You might not be all that good at it at first, but it'll help change your opinion or your outlook on life. And plus, even if you're an out outdoor person, you know, you're going to always experience a... Uh, a, a lot of different elements of what of of the outdoors you know snow white walls racquetballs raining down on you I think the the most prevalent form of weather you'll experience inside a court it's probably thunder <laughs> but remember this okay just remember this all you potential members out there anyone who wants to join the INSRA or learn how to play racquetball, or, or do a new thing, try a new sport. No matter how bad it could possibly be outside, the weather's always perfect for racquetball. Remember that. We'll see you next time.